Hello everyone. Um, so sorry I'm not with you in class today. I got sick over this long weekend and I'm not going to be there for a couple more days, I'm afraid. So I am doing my best to help you out here. Please use this Nearpod. You do need to get through document C and D this week. So today you should be focusing on document C, which is the consent of the governed. These two documents are some of the hardest that we have um, in the DBQ because they're not ideas you've heard about as often as the equality and life and liberty and that kind of thing. So consent of the governed. Consent means to say okay and governed the governed, not the government. This is the people who have to listen and follow the government. The governed is the people. So this means the people are saying okay to their government. You have some vocabulary, some definitions here. Um, please take a moment. Hopefully this, you might have to pause the last second of the video to be able to see it. But when you get the definitions copied, go on to the next slide of the Nearpod and um, follow along that way. That way I'm here helping you out. Um, the consent of the governed, these are four examples. Some of them are not how people show consent. Some, people, some of these are the ways that people show they do not consent to the government. And so protesting shows they do not agree. They do not consent to the government, what the government is doing. Petitions are also usually, they do not agree with what the government is doing. Political posts on any kind of social media, whether it's TikTok, tick, whoa, TikTok or Twitter or whatever kind of social media you can find, sometimes they agree with the government and are saying, yes, this is the right thing to do. And sometimes they were very much not agreeing with the government. Voting is a way that people choose what the government does. And that is the ultimate idea of consent of the governed is that the people vote to choose the government.